Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, and the whiskeys that make it sound better. I'm Josh, and today I'm finally trying out Evan Williams' 1783. I've been a fan of the original Evan Williams for years, but this one somehow eluded me until now. At only $20 a bottle at Total Wine, it's really a shame I've taken this long to pick it up. Let's jump on in and see what whiskey was like in the 18th century. Probably the same, but with smallpox. Go get vaccinated! Right off the bat, this is not your grandpappy's Evan Williams 1783. What used to be 86 proof is now 90 proof. That may make this a completely different whiskey than originally intended. On the nose, there is wood, caramel, vanilla, and nutmeg. So far, nothing unexpected or unpleasant. Diving in for a taste, we get sweet notes full of baking spices with strong cinnamon and nutmeg notes hitting first, followed by caramel, tangy fruit, and oak. The finish is a medium length and warm one with lingering notes of cinnamon, candies, oak, and mint. I never tried the 86 proof version, but my research shows it had more grain and a thinner mouth. Overall, this is a better bourbon at 90 proof than it was at 86 proof. The added dilution of the 86 proof really seemed to drop the richness of the bourbon. The 90 proof is brighter and richer in flavor, and I'm glad I tried this version instead. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'd love to hear what you think of Evan Williams' 1783, or if you have any other whiskeys that you think I should try. In the meantime, if you're a musician and you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed or interviewed, I've got a link down in the description for my social media, as well as ways you can support the channel. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up there in the corner, and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it really does make a difference, and I'd really appreciate it. You know what to do, and don't forget to ring the bell. Uh, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.